I'm here with a video to, sh um, to say um, that Pirelli have chosen their tyre compounds for Austin, Brazil and Abu Dhabi. So, for Austin, Texas, they have chosen the soft and the medium tyres, which is the first time ever, because every year since 2012, they've had the mediums and the hards, and literally everyone has been doing one stop only. So I think they decided to have the soft and the mediums to change it up a bit so that they can make more pit stops and make the racing a bit more interesting rather than Merce um, and Mercedes I doubt are going to struggle with the tyre wear since they're probably going to bolt away in the first few minutes of the race and no one will see them ever again and they'll probably win by about three days and no, I'm joking probably about 30 seconds, 20 seconds, I don't know, but, um, yeah, okay, right, the tyre compounds for the Brazilian Grand Prix are the, I reckon people will be doing about two, three stops in Austin, but here in, um, Brazil, they have decided to do um, do the same as always and put the mediums and the hards up for the race. And Felipe Massa has actually complained um, because they might have lack of grip here in Brazil. But I s uh, partly agree with him because he said it might rain. And if it rains, then the hards will probably be absolutely useless because they'll probably skid you off it on even on the um, as soon as you get on the power and you probably have to do a miraculous save so I reckon people were doing one stops around here in Brazil Brazil and even on this get on F1 2014 this game um I managed to do one stop here around Brazil on the mediums and the hards 31 laps on the options and 40 laps on the primes 71 makes 71 laps so basically, ooh, a track extending there, sorry about that, um, yeah, um, might be a pretty boring race here in Brazil because one stop doesn't usually entertain you, whereas something like three, four stops will entertain you a lot and the, the race will be more, less predictable because people might suffer with tyre wear more than people, some other people do. Such as the like the Williams car, which has quite a lot of tyre wear. So, yeah, expect um, not too great a race here in Brazil. But Lewis Hamilton and Rosberg will probably put up a real show here in Brazil. Because, firstly, the Mercedes will probably be like... Two tenths of a lap faster, I ought to say. So, ex yeah, pretty much expect like one stop. And yeah. Now, lads, here in Abu Dhabi. Now, this might be a very big shock to you, especially was to me. I was shocked to the bone, as lol, as soon as I heard this news that Pirelli have cho chosen the super softs and the softs slash the two softest compounds for this Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Now in the most previous years they've chosen the soft and the medium which people have managed to do one stops or two stops so it's been not too great I must say so but this year you might even see four stops because the tyre wears is absolutely horrendous here in Abu Dhabi slash one of the worst tyre wearing tracks yeah, one of the worst tyre wear. No, okay, one of the most tyre wearing tracks, especially on the game. But um, yeah, super soft and soft. What can I say? Um, I expect a very interesting race in here in Abu Dhabi. But if Rosberg wins it because of double points, then I will literally be the most annoyed guy on earth, literally, because I'm a massive Hamilton fan and. And yeah, um, been supporting him ever since 2010. Um, 
he probably take it down to the last race. He doesn't make it easy for himself, does he? But, um, yeah, um... Expecting a very interesting Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. But if Ross, like I say, if Rosberg wins it, he'll be a paper champion, literally. Um, lol. Um, so, super soft and the softs. I can't wait for this Grand Prix. But, the only stupid rule that they have, um, that this Grand Prix has is the double points, which is an absolutely stupid idea. Because, I don't know, but it's just really stupid. I don't know what to say here, lads. But yeah, I usually am never speechless. But I tell you the reason why they chose the super softs and the soft is because um, a man reported to Pirelli that they that um, that the track temperatures would drop a lot during the middle of the race, and the softer compounds can deal with the track temperature uh, the some yeah some of the lower compounds can tr um the softer compounds can deal with track temp temperatures better so therefore the that that's a quite a valid reason why to um choose those tires okay like if you want more of my content then subscribe if you haven't already i'll be extremely grateful and will subscribe back to you immediately and like this video I'll be releasing more videos in 2015 of these video um, of the same style videos. So subscribe if you haven't already and like. If we can hit um, 2,000 likes on this video, we'll be very ex ex extremely grateful to say the least. But yeah, bye for now.